Hello everyone, welcome back to you learn education online channel. In previous video we have seen what is the block diagram of radio broadcasting system and also in detail we have seen what are the blocks involved in the transmitter part. Now in today's video we are going to see how the transmitters are classified. Nothing but the concept is the classification of transmitters. So here the radio frequency transmitters or I can say that the RF transmitters may be classified according to the type of modulation used and also according to the frequency range of carrier signal. So in brief we can say that based on the type of modulation the transmitter is classified and also based on the use of carrier frequency range the transmitters are classified. Now let us see based on the type of modulation how the transmitters are classified. So based on or uh, the usage of amplitude modulation in the modulator block then the transmitters we are calling it as an AM transmitters. So here the in AM transmitters the carrier signal or a high frequency signal is modulated by a baseband signal or a message signal or a modulating signal. The applications of an AM transmitters are radio broadcast on long, medium and short waves, radio telephony on short waves, radio telegraphy on short waves, TV picture broadcast on very very short waves as an ultra short waves. So these are the applications in which the AM transmitters are used. Now let us see the second type of transmitter based on the type of modulation is an FM transmitter. So in this FM transmitters the signal voltage of the modulating signal modulates the frequency of a carrier signal. Now what are the applications of FM transmitters? So in the very high frequency range and ultra high frequency range this FM broadcast is used and also in television sound broadcasting and radio telephone communication over short distances this FM transmitters are used. And let us see the third type that is a PM transmitters. So here this PM indicates the pulse modulator. So in pulse modulation transmitters the modulating signal voltage alters some characteristics of pulse. Now what are the characteristics of pulse? It is nothing but an amplitude, frequency or width and the position. So accordingly different methods of modulation are used in PM transmitters and these PM transmitters are mainly used in digital applications. Now let us see the classification of transmitter based on the carrier frequency range. So here it is again divided into three types. One is the long wave transmitters, medium wave transmitters and short wave transmitters. So these transmitters can be divided based on the frequency range. So let us see what is the frequency range of long wave transmitter. So the frequency range of long wave transmitter is 30H to 300 kHz and its application is mainly used in aeronautical and marine navigation. Next one is the medium wave transmitters. Here the frequency range used is 300 to 3000 kHz and it is simply used in AM broadcasting. And the third one is the short wave transmitters that is 3 to 30 megahertz and uh, it is mainly used for the long distance AM communication and also the two way radio broadcasting system. These are the mainly frequency range divided transmitters and the other transmitters are also there. One is a very high frequency transmitter and its radio frequency range is 30 to 300 megahertz and it is mainly used in FM radio broadcasting, mobile radio system, TV broadcasting, aeronautical and marine communications. And the next uh, frequency range classification of transmitter is an ultra high frequency transmitter and its value is 300 to 3000 megahertz. And the last one is a super high frequency transmitter and its value is 3 to 30 gigahertz. And this super high frequency transmitter is mainly used in radar and satellite communications.
okay so for the military services and the cellular telephone network we are using an ultra high frequency transmitter so in addition to these three transmitters that is long wave medium wave and short wave transmitters the other three transmitters are mainly used and the other three transmitters that is a very high frequency transmitter ultra high frequency transmitter and super high frequency transmitter are mainly used in secure security applications and defense applications like military Thank you so much for watching our video. Keep supporting and please subscribe to our channel.